Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure, she has been confident. That is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the crown. Michelle Watterson steps into the octagon, and this time she wants to leave with the belt. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she's, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the karate hockey, Michelle Watterson Gomez. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning defending undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Tracy Cortez. Herb Dean, a referee for this show. Good. All right, let us see how this round plays out for the karate hottie Michelle Watterson. She has been a strawweight division staple in the UFC, and when she's had momentum at times, she has struggled against an elite fighter such as Joanna Yeo Jacek, but she believes this matchup will afford her the opportunity to put all her skills on display, and the matchmakers are watching intently tonight to see if Watterson can take that requisite next step. Nice shot there by the chance. Oh, beautiful elbow by her in tight. She talked a lot about closing the distance and did so masterfully there. There are a lot of great fighters in the UFC. She is showing that she is on that level, showing that she can use every single attack inside the octagon as she's trying to win another fight in there. Nice head kick. How good is this? One minute into the fight, full-on brawl. I mean, give us an ooh-wee or something, man. I mean, ooh-wee. <laughs> These two young ladies are really going after it. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. <laughs> oh, 
great punch. Digs a shit into the ribs. Great body kick. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, again, make the bad woman stop. Pretty good kicks there by Walsh. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high, and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking the top and down low. Beautiful kick lands. A commitment to excellence. She finally gets this fight to the ground after many failed attempts. She was... Cortez is trying to lock up on a submission now. She gets right. out. She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied. By she the bottom got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right there. Tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. All oh, right to the mouth. This is a terrible position. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Big right hook there by the champ. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Watterson's back in side control. She's stepping over the mount here. All right, she's going for the submission now. Arm is very tight. Cortez in half guard now. Man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back to the feet. The crowd's going crazy because they just saw two high-level grapplers mix it up on the ground. It was phenomenal to watch. It got checked. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Oh, high-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Waters. Oh, right into Mount. Watterson's going for the sub here. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, she escapes. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Caught that kick there. She gets to the single collar tie. Look how to move the opponent. Pull the head down and try to wear on her gas tank. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Cortez. Final seconds here of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. We're going to get you some replays here. Her submission offense is outstanding, just unable to get it tight enough there. She's such a great grappler. She manipulates you so well on the ground that you see why people try to avoid grappling with her at Ready all costs. But she Ready. got the fight where she wanted to. She almost got the submission that would have ended the fight. Watterson gets caught with that punch. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Watterson's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. And just misses with that big right hand. 
Watterson's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Beautiful transition. Watterson's back in half guard. And now she's in mount. Oh, look at that high level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's, it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level. When everything's working, she is as good as anyone in the UFC. Tonight, she is at her peak level. Watterson's pass attempt denied. Oh, she reverses position on the ground. Beautifully done. And now she gains the dominant position. Cortez has got full mount now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, bring side position, and stop the fight. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the... What a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. It's work. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Oh, huge left. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is very tight. She's trying very hard to finish this fight. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fighter. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to get their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're going to lay on their back and just get beaten up to the top from that beautiful half guard position. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike now. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Watterson's back in half guard. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. She's stepping over the ball here. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Waters. She's making these ground strikes count. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Round three next. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut. It looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. Well, at some point, she's going to have to shore things up defensively. Let us get you some replays and show you some strikes that led to all that damage. Just beautiful striking on display, but it's easy to look like this whenever your opponent just refuses 
to move their head. She was able to land and land at will. And now you see all that swelling on her opponent's face. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, the inside leg kick lands immediately a mark on her opponent. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Cortez. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Oh, nice. Elbow there blocked by Watterson. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Man, every time her opponent lands, that cut's getting worse. The cut gets worse and worse. She needs to move her head, or she's going to find herself in a lot of danger. Cortez gets hit with a kick. Lands a quick jab. Watterson's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Oh, nice strike landed there by Cortez. The right hand just misses. Takedown defense holds up. Nice uppercut. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. She throws a nice combination of kicks. Cortez's thigh really starting to show signs of bruising now. That is a deep shade of purple. Nice jab. Oh, that's a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off and finish the fight. Finish her. Oh, my goodness. Just over two minutes to go. She lands a nasty jab. Well, she's got a good jab, miss with it there. With conviction to the body. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Live. Even though her opponent's throwing, she's not finding much success. Oh, man, you can see her head bounce on the canvas. Heavy shot lands. Oh, right into mouth. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, real good submission attempt now. That one looks tight. Nice job to target that cut and land again. Blood becoming a real factor now. That was a slick transition. Lands with the ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Big ground and pound. Watterson's back in full now. Ten seconds now to go in the round. 
Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Watterson. Oh. That's three rounds. Oh. We're now headed to the championship oh. round. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We thought the fight was done, but we move forward because her opponent is so tough, but she's so skilled that she can't get there again. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially win. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. Oh! Another one! All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. Well, we wondered aloud earlier about their tickers. Who would dig deep? They both have, and they have given us one of the better fights in this division all year. They've given us an instant classic. Both of these women have laid it all out on the line. They're beat, they're battered. Every time they go to the corner, we wonder if anyone's going to quit. Neither one does. They come right back out, and they continue to go at each other. It's been so fun. Under three minutes to go in round four. Man, high volume of strikes in this. Yeah, the seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Caution, flammable, damage critical. These women have a, have doled out and absorbed a ton of damage here tonight. Fans enjoying every goddamn second. Enjoying the entire thing. What's most impressive is that neither are willing to take us. So you want to be a fighter. Back and forth we go between two of the best women in the world. Watterson's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Just over two minutes to go. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. It's an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Beautiful. 
One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Well, it is a bloody Saturday in the Octagon tonight. Both of these women, I think, leaving a piece of themselves in the Octagon. Absolutely, they are leaving a piece of themselves. And I don't know if they have any issue with it. They knew this was going to be tough. I just didn't expect to see both of them this beat up as we get to towards the end of the round. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the... Watterson's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. Oh, man, that was slick. she lands very effectively. All right, so somehow, some way, we have made it to the end of the round. And for these two women, otherworldly toughness on both sides, but those are some damaging cuts. Yeah, they're both cut up. They're both battered. They're both bruised. They have done so much damage to each other. Both of these women laid it all on the line. We're going to show you some replays from that previous round and perhaps isolate the cut that, the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, I mean, these two just were going back and forth. They are so evenly matched and the intensity in which they threw their strikes was crazy. Both of these ladies were trying to knock their opponent's head off the entire time in that round. All right, so let's see how soon into this next round those cuts are reopened, but both of these women have accomplished a lot here tonight offensively. We'll see who can shore things up defensively moving Ready. forward. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fight that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Cortez. Nice body kick. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would think. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this, and as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that, uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Look at the turnover in that kick. She threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she is seeing the rewards of her hard work. She's way too calm on her back. Right now, she's got to get moving, because now she's starting to swell. Nicely done. Watterson's able to transition back to side control now. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Cortez is in half guard. And now she's in mouth. Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big response from the crowd. They appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and it's exactly what they just got between these two young women. All right, I'm going to put you in this fighter's shoes, okay? She is clearly losing this fight. Time is not her friend right now. You going for the finish or what? I am fighting down on the mouthpiece. What a strike by her there. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get her. Cortez is taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside physician. Smart decision by the fighter. Oh! You cannot take too many of those. And there's that elbow blocked by Tracy Cortez. Guillotine jump. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. 
She may be very close to finish this fight. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Well, seemingly, even when she gets her hands up, a lot of these strikes are getting through and looks like some swelling on her head area now. I mean, swelling on her head. You know, she's getting beat up. Make no mistake about it. She's taking far too many of these shots. What she needs to do is get active in her defense. Make sure that she doesn't get hit with too many shots clean. Because while it may not be bad yet, it's only going to get worse. All right, well, if you like blood, this is the fight for you. She is absolutely masked in, at least in that eye area. Hard to think that she can see much now. Yeah, she can't see much. There's no way her vision is clear. She has been beat up. She's been battered. Now she's going into survival mode. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet, and the crowd is absolutely eaten up. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up, and now she's got to let the hands go. Nice uppercut by the champion. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Back and forth we go. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to... Final 10 seconds of the fight. Cortez cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, so we await the judges' scorecards after what can only be described as an epic 25-minute championship fight. Looked like the challenger might get it done tonight, but at the end of the day, the champion was tough. I love the story of this fight. I love how the challenger had momentum. I love how the challenger seemed to be pulling away on the scorecards. But look at the heart of the champion. I believe that will carry her to keeping her title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, All right, so there she is, the and still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. As many of you guys know, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit in recent UFC history. But on the strength of this effort here tonight,